I think we approach listening in two different ways, in a sense, and I think it's important to distinguish between the two different kinds of listening that we do. In the opening spreads of each unit, which are geared towards students being able to have this particular kind of conversation, the listenings that the students get are written very much to serve as models for their own kind of output. And I think a lot of the time, one of the things that makes language learning difficult for students is in the classroom, they don't always get the opportunity to hear conversations similar to those that they're then asked to have. So the opening spread listenings are basically things which will model for the students and provide input for the students to help them have similar kinds of conversations themselves. Um, in the other double page spread within the unit which is based around listening, um, it's much more about exposing students to a wide range of different listening types. These might be lectures, they might be extracts from news programmes, they might be conversations, um, they might be bits of lessons that they overhear. There's a whole wide range of different things that they'll hear, um, as well as a whole wide range of accents that they'll be exposed to. And what we try to do with those is in a way very similar to what we try to do with the readings. Um, we lean into those with tasks which maybe involve prediction, um, which maybe involve pre-teaching of some of the language students are going to meet, which maybe involve discussion to generate interest and to activate the students' schemata, to, to ease them into the text that they're going to be listening to. Um, we have exercises afterwards which maybe focus on particular bits of language that they heard in the listenings, that maybe focus on particular grammar structures that they heard in the listenings, and always there'll be an opportunity for students to respond in some kind of way verbally to what they've been listening to, to have some kind of human response to that. So yeah, it's those two different kind of ways. And of course the listenings then expanded upon and consolidated in the workbook, where they get extra opportunities to practice their listening.